let's take that strawberries and cream recipe we made, add a few things to it, and make something new. going on mixers yesterday we made a quick and easy strawberries and cream recipe we whipped that up and today we're gonna take that we're gonna add a couple things to it and make something totally different don't know where it's gonna take us don't even have a clue let's wing it let's go see what we can come up with okay I'm gonna use a 10 mil bottle today I have no idea where this is going. Sound a little bit chicken, so I want to make a big batch. So we're going to start with our strawberry and cream recipe. I'm going to change it just a little bit. Since we are adding some stuff, we don't want the uh, strawberry to be too muted and overpowered. So we're going to up the strawberry rates a little bit. And I am going to swap out one of the strawberries. I'm going to change the flavor art strawberry and I'm going to put in the Capella Sweet just to get that more sweet note. But anyway, we're going to start with the TFA Ripe. And we're going to go 5% of the right. And do 3% of the Capella Sweet. A little heavy-handed but that's okay so there we got eight percent of strawberry in so anybody out there that's just using a single strawberry got eight percent strawberry now in the one yesterday we made we only had five percent we split it strawberry and vanilla bean ice cream we did five and five so we upped the strawberry to 8%. I'm going to stick with 5% of the vanilla bean ice cream. Okay, so there's what we had yesterday. A little strawberry and cream. So since we used ice cream as our cream instead of like a sweet cream or a <clears throat> fresh cream or whipped cream or anything like that, I'm thinking, let's add some vanilla cupcake. We'll give it some body. And give it a little bit of a cakey note. Let's just do one percent. See what happens. There we got some strawberries, vanilla bean ice cream, and a little bit of vanilla cupcake. Now what I was thinking was to give it a little bit of texture and some graininess. Put in some sugar cookie. I got Capella's version two. And I'm gonna try it at 2%.
So there we have, now we have kind of like a, we'll call it like, say you have a little hunk of cake. Maybe it's a leftover, maybe a leftover birthday cake or, I don't know, you just got a little piece of cake. Throw it in the bottom of a bowl and you throw a scoop of strawberry ice cream on top, let's say. That's kind of what I think we got. So I got my blend. Seventy thirty, two milligrams. All you gotta do is top her off. I'll give her a stir quick. So there you go. There's a little idea of how to take a quick, simple, easy recipe, like a simple strawberry and cream, and add something to it and get something different. Let's see what we did get. Like I said, I didn't really know where I was going to go with this, but I figured, eh, let's, I don't do bakery a lot, a whole lot. I usually do cereals and I guess you call them drinks, like juices, cocktails, or spring or summery drinks living up here in the northeast of the country you kind of need something to pick your spirits up when the snow's on the ground and the ice and it's rainy and crap a good summery drink always helps so that's why i do that and i just love cereal babes so anyway let's see what we got with this concoction we made can taste this strawberry sweet sweet strawberry nice vanilla notes right now not too overpowering but they're there it's pretty nice actually Nice texture with the sugar cookie and you can definitely taste the cake now. This one's definitely got to set. Let that uh, vanilla bean ice cream do its thing. Let the cupcake and the sugar cookie come together. See if it meets the strawberry too much. But right now it doesn't taste too awfully horrible. Tastes kind of like what I said. Tastes like a, uh, almost like a strawberry cupcake with a little bit of vanilla ice cream on the top. Now, I was worried about using the vanilla uh, cupcake and the vanilla bean ice cream. I didn't know if it would be too much vanilla, but as it sets right now, the vanilla notes are not too bad actually it's kind of strange though one time you get a more of a strawberry nice sweet strawberry and a little bit of cake behind it and next time you get the more vanilla and the fluffier vanilla ice cream with just a hint of the strawberry There I got strawberry on the inhale and the vanilla notes kind of came up when it was in and on the exhale you taste that 
vanilla cake. Not too bad. So after it sits for a while, we'll see what it turns out. But stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to take this and we're going to add a couple more things. I'm thinking along, uh, we'll keep along that bakery that we'll build that bakery up and build some kind of cake. And uh, I don't know. I don't want to give it away. I got something in mind. Like I said I'm winging it. I have no idea. But well, we can learn together. Let's experiment. So come on back tomorrow and check out what we're going to add and see what we come up with. So thanks for watching. This is Blind Views and keep on mixing and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.